Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but it happened to me on a few occasions with some very good friends that are not my friends anymore, obviously. Uh, and it, this was like this. Uh, we would go uh, you know, and meet some friends, they were my best friend. And he would start, you know, trying to shame me in a certain way in front of everybody, like starting a fight. I was like, what is wrong with you guy? I mean, best friend, best friend. And after now, he was just trying to throw garbage on me. We would meet later and he would come and say, well, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, you know, and he did this on two or three occasions. And I say, you know what, you, uh, this is what uh, you should not accept. That's not an apology. When someone like that does something like this in front of other people or in a debate, knowing that he's not right, but he's just trying to shame you or something, or you know, throw shit at you, then if he's coming to you later and is apologizing for that, you grab that weasel by the uh, side of the collar, bring him, if you can, in front of everybody else who was present, and you have that person apologize in front of everybody. Now, that's an apology. You don't do it in the back. You do it in front of everybody, so you don't you know, try to shame or throw shit or you know, insult people in public and then you apologize in private. Do not accept that, all right? Now, this is unfortunately what happens here between uh, China and the United States of America. You know, United States of America builds all kind of uh, little uh, uh, military bases in East Asia. I think the last one was in Philippines, I think, like four of them. They just signed a uh, defense treaty or pact with Papua New, Papua New Guinea today, I think. All that to contain uh, China. But very interesting, if you look at the, where Papua New Guinea is and you look at the Solomon Islands, Australia did not say anything about that. Australia was very upset when China signed something with uh, Solomon Islands, but not angry with United States signing something with Papua New Guinea, which are very close to one another, I mean, on the map. So it's very interesting, isn't it? So anyway, the United States conducts all kinds of military maneuvers, drills, all the kind of weapons in Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, all that. And then United States does this in front of everybody, you know, shows his balls and the red butt, like the baboons do. You know, when baboons are arguing and trying to intimidate one another, they show their red butt. And then the bigger the butter, oh my God, look at those balls. Ooh. Uh, that's how it is. Uh, United States shows that in front of the world. And then when there's nobody around, they come and say, hey, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. What? No, no, no. You come over there and tell everybody what an you were. But it doesn't happen this way. So this gets me to this article where United States of America calls China in private after they do everything I said and more to the Chinese. I'm not a, a sympathizer or of, of uh, either of these two sides, but I don't think that's right. I think it shows um, no class, to say the least. So let's see what's going on over here. So you have here an article from Reuters. It's from today, May 29th, 2023. China rejects US request for a meeting between defense chiefs, Wall Street Journal reports. China has rejected the request by the United States for a meeting between their defense chiefs on the sidelines of an annual security forum in Singapore this coming weekend, the Wolf Weekend, the Wall Street Journal reported on Monday. So China said, I'm not going to meet your chief uh, defense, whatever weasel over there you got. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you see, the United States always is a plantation, uh, has its own plantation. China is not part of the plantation. China tries to form its own club. We don't know yet if it's, that's going to be a plantation because I'm going to explain why. United States already, already has its own plantation. As I said many times, United States, the master, you got the house uh, servant, which is Great Britain, and you got the rest, uh, you know, sugarcane, slaves. Those are everybody else. Uh, NATO, you know, European Union, those kinds of weasels. All right. So those are the ones. This is how these guys are. China is outside of the plantation and these guys are trying to lure China in. The problem is China is already, you know, like if you're familiar with uh, those ancient Roman, I think Roman Galere, I think they were called, you know, where you have a long row, a big long ship and a row and you have a 
a few slaves. Okay, so China is here. Next to it is Russia. Next to it is India. Then is Brazil, and then on and on. So this is the next club. These guys so far try to build this club as a kibbutz. You know the Jewish little common thing, kibbutz. That's how I think you say it. Or I you know like a communist commune, where it seems like eh, power is distributed, not like on the other side, on the other galere uh, of uh, the Romans, the United States, where the United States is on the deck with a long, mm -mm -mm, you know, and it's just, psh, psh, and you have over there one. Uh, at one side, the other one, you know, rowing over there, and that's uh, Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. Psh, ow. And then you have over the, the French. Wee, wee, wee. Psh, psh, ah, okay. And then you have the, you know, the Spaniard or the Romanian. Da, da, da. Psh, ah, harder. And you got the uh, Great Britain over there with a the rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So when the Great Britain was like, boom, boom, then got, oh, okay, God damn it, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so that's what it is on the other side. And this one, they're like this. So United States does all that with its club. Us, the other guys are on the other side. And United States calls now, let's meet, let's meet. After you did all that to me, I'm supposed to meet you? No. Good. Uh, you wouldn't like that to happen to you. You know, in public, you get all spit and throw shit on you and then uh, you're supposed to when you meet one-on-one -on -one, hey you know I, I didn't mean that no take that back how are you gonna take it back by saying sorry just you and i no 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 at least doesn't work with me it worked then <laughs> okay a little slide one time second time third time go off bye bye all right so let's see what's going on here uh so overnight the PRC informed the U U.S. that they have declined our early May invitation for Secretary Lloyd Austin to meet with PRC Minister of National Defense Li Shang Fu in Singapore this week. End quote. The Pentagon said in a statement to the journal, adding the department believes in open communication and I'm quoting to ensure that com competition does not veer into conflict. Uh, you know, it's like this. I keep punching you, and when you're about to turn around to punch me, hey, hey, let's communicate. I, I don't want it to get in a conflict. When he turns around, smacks you again. You look again, you want to punch him? No, 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 hey, hey, hey everybody. Mm -hmm. He wants conflict, okay? No, it's okay, man. And then again, slap. No, I mean, you can do this. Obviously, they think they can, but the Chinese are not idiots, they are fools. And I'm glad they say, you know what? The little uh, kindergarten game is over, infantiles. All right, take your Lindsey Graham and other weasels over there like Nancy the Corpse Pelosi with her denture. I want to keep it up. Or Feinstein or Biden. Take all those guys or Kamala. <laughs> take all that with you and stay over there. You are a joke. And the problem is these guys represent us more or less. Can you believe that? Yes. Democracy. Don't you love it? Mwah. <sighs> my god anyway so let's read this one so i don't keep going like this so make sure you don't drop into conflict and don't uh does not veer into conflict there is a conflict but you don't want to be punched back you want to keep punching and the other one you don't want the other the other side to defend itself last week white house spokesman no he's not a spokesman he's a spokesperson john kerby said there were discussions by the Defense Department to go on a com conversation going between Lloyd and his Chinese counterpart. Is the Chinese com counterpart somehow uh, sanctioned or not? Because you sanction whomever uh, has something to say and you don't, and you don't like. Kirk Bai, why is Kirby? It's Kirk Bai. Also said that, like uh, Jesus Christ or Christmas. Christmas or Christmas. Anyway. Uh, also said there was the possibility of meeting between U.S. trade representative Catherine Tai and her Chinese counterpart during the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APAC, APAC. <laughs> meeting in Detroit. Don't go to Detroit. <laughs> Detroit, yes, go to Detroit. Don't go to Detroit, my man. Bring an army over there if you want to go to Detroit. And that's not going to help you. So, <laughs> so anyway, my friends, this is how things are. You know, I can punch you, but you can punch me back. 
And uh, how many countries dare to say such a thing to the United States of America? A uh, handful? Why? Those probably are the only ones that are really independent. You like it or not, but they are independent. That's obviously Iran. Oh, bad dudes. All bad dudes. The people that we don't like, they're all bad dudes. People that we like, they're all ace, you know, standing citizens, right? They're fantastic, outstanding citizens. So you got Iran, you got North Korea, you got Russia, obviously. You got uh, almost, you got uh, Serbia, you got China, you got uh, Brazil now, it seems like. And you got a few more, uh, you know, in Africa that they don't like it because they don't push some kind of uh, uh, progressive ideology, if you know what I mean. So, good job, China. Uh, as I said, I'm not on their side, but this is weasel uh, move. And I don't like weasels. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.